welcome to physics hub today in this video we are going to show you why and how the quantum mechanics came into existence the introduction of quantum mechanics was prompted by the failure of classical physics in explaining a number of microphysical phenomena that were observed at the end of 19th and early 20th centuries so at the end of 19th century physics was essentially consisting of three major parts so it basically consisted of classical mechanics like the theory of electromagnetism and thermodynamics classical mechanics gives a description of the dynamics of material bodies and using uh, maxwell's four uh, electromagnetic equation scientists were uh, were able to describe the radiation radiation and matter were described in terms of waves and particles and thermodynamics was able to explain the interaction between matter and radiation up to that time people believed that classical physics was the ultimate description of nature but at the beginning of 20th century classical mechanics cl classical physics faced two major challenges one was in case of relativistic domain and another one was in case of microscopic domain in these two areas classical physics failed to explain the things using their conventional theories and at that point we begin to thought about a new mechanics which will be able to explain these two domains properly in case of general relativity we see we have seen that newtonian mechanics becomes invalid in case of relativistic reason, in case of relativistic speed so when a particle or a material body moves in relativistic speed we cannot apply newtonian mechanics we need to apply something uh, different in case of microscopic domain several microscopic phenomena like uh, black body radiation black body radiation uh, then photoelectric effect photoelectric effect atomic stability atomic spectroscopy so these many things we could not explain using classical physics and that was the limitation of uh, classical physics the first real breakthrough came in the year 1900 when max planck postulated introduced the concept of quantum of energy according to max max planck he told that the energy x which is being exchanged between the electromagnetic wave and matter is basically quantized energy they are they are discrete in nature and the exchange in energy between the matter and electromagnetic waves occurs in the unit of h nu the energy of a quantum so this was a completely new idea to quantized energy and now after that in 1905 einstein uh, while trying to uh, find out the real reason for photoelectric effect he found out that the idea or concept of max planck max planck's quantization of em waves must be valid for light waves as well and by considering that he found the uh, mechanism of photoelectric effect and for that discovery he was awarded nobel prize another breakthrough came in the year 1913 and it was due to niels bohr according to niels bohr atom can exist uh, only in discrete um, uh, discrete unit of energy and whenever it absorbs radiation or some kind of external influence the it emits or radiates energy in discrete unit of uh, h nu and it is it is because the emission or absorption occurs uh, in the discrete energy level so the amount of energy released or accepted will be discrete in nature and uh, this work of niels bohr gave satisfactory explanation to several outstanding problems of that time like atomic stability and atomic spectroscopy now in the year 1923 what happened in 1923 in the year 1923 compton gave some uh, as you know about compton scattering 
So Compton gave an outstanding explanation that X and he performed an experiment with X rays. He followed X rays on some electron and the X ray was scattered. And from this, he concluded that uh, X ray also exhibits particle nature. So he basically established the particle nature of waves. And in the same year, de Broglie postulated his very famous de Broglie hypothesis, lambda equals to h by t, de Broglie hypothesis. And according to this hypothesis, not only wave exhibits particle uh, like behavior, but also particle also uh, exhibits some wave-like behavior. And this concept was confirmed in the year 1927 by Davison and Jarmer. It is that name Jarmer, yes. This showed some interference pattern. They showed some interference pattern which is a property of wave and they showed that this property of wave can also be produced with material particle like electrons. So historically there were two independent formulation of quantum mechanics. The first one is being matrix mechanics and the second one is wave mechanics. So matrix mechanics, firstly matrix mechanics was developed by Heisenberg in the year 20, 1925 and Heisenberg discovered this method to describe the atomic structure starting from the observed spectral line, observed spectral line. So expressing the uh, physical quantities like energy, position, momentum, angular momenta, etc. in terms of matrices, Heisenberg tried to formulate eigenvalue problems. And from the Hamiltonian formulation, by the diagonalization of the Hamiltonian system, Heisenberg were able to find out the energy spectrum and the state vectors. Okay, and in case of wave mechanics, this wave mechanics was founded by Schrödinger in 1926, and this was the generalization of de Broglie hypothesis. And in this formulation, Schrödinger describes the motion of the microscopic object in the terms of some wave equation, which is popularly known as Schrodinger equation and it is basically a differential equation and the solution of this second order differential equation gives you the wave function and uh, the wave vector as well. And in the year 1927, just after one year, Born, Max Born gives his probabilistic concept of wave function. He just took the square of the wave function which has been derived from the Schrodinger equation and called it as probability densities okay probability densities later on in the year 1928 Dirac postulated his uh, Dirac derived some equation to describe the motion of electron and that is that was called Dirac equation, Dirac's equation and which is founded in 1928 and this was designed to describe the motion of electrons and from that equation Dirac predicted an antiparticle of electron which is called positron and which has the same characteristic as the electron but of opposite nature and which was later on discovered after four years of this Dirac equation means 1934. So this material positron was later discovered in 1934 which was predicted by Dirac in the year 1928. In summary, quantum mechanics is the theory that describes the dynamics of matter at the microscopic level. Quantum mechanics is the only valid framework for describing the microphysical world. It is vital for understanding the physics of solids, lasers, semiconductor, superconductor devices, plasmas, etc. In short, quantum mechanics is the founding basis of all modern physics, solid state, molecular, atomic, nuclear and particle physics, optics, thermodynamics, statistical mechanics and so on. Not only that, it is also considered to be the foundation of chemistry and 
बायोलॉजी